All right, let's take a look at a chi-square test of independence. A post-operative procedure is administered to a large number of patients in a large hospital. A statistician asks the question, at a 5% level of significance, do the doctors feel differently about this procedure from the nurses, or do they essentially feel the same way? The following data was gathered. So we have this data on the nurses and the doctors and whether or not they prefer the old procedure, new procedure, or they have no preference. So the null hypothesis in this case, we're trying to see is, are they independent or are they not? So our null hypothesis says that the occupation and preference are independent of one another. So remember, we said independence. That means that there's no cause and effect, no relationship between these two. That they're just... Um, basically distinct. So we said there's no relationship between these two. Occupation preferences are independent. But our alternative says, wait a minute, maybe there is some type of dependence between here. So we could now say that our alternative is the occupation and the preference. So this preference of the procedure are dependent. So they are dependent of one another. So we have here just the simple claim that this is going to be a chi-squared test of independence. That's it. So how we want to use the calculator for this is going to be very different than any of the other ones we've done so far. So when we turn on the calculator, we will be going up to this option that says matrix. So you're going to press the second button, and above the x to the negative 1, there's matrix. Press that. Now, you have all these names that give you names of all the matrices we're going to use. We don't need that. We're going to go to the right. We don't need the math, but we need to go to edit. So we're going to edit this matrix. So this matrix, what we see here is that there are two rows and that there are three columns. So what type of matrix this is, is this going to be a two by three? So we always have rows and then we have columns. So we press 2 for the first number. Notice that now you have a second row that appears. And then when you press 3, you have three columns that appears. We enter our data in here. We have 100. We have 80. We have 20. We have 50. 120. And 30. So that's our numbers entered into our matrix. Now, when you go press, when you go and press stat, and you go over to tests, you're going to scroll down, and eventually you will come across the option for the chi-square test. The chi-square test is specifically the chi-square test of independence. We press enter. Our observed needs to be the same place that we entered our data. This, these are our observed values. So this whole chart here, this is the observed. The expected, we're just going to leave that as the matrix B. It's just We don't need to make any different things there. So we're going to press calculate. Now our chi-squared, this test statistic is indeed chi-squared is equal to 26.67. And our p-value in this case is equal to 0 0.00001619. Because remember, the e to the negative 6 means this is in scientific notation. So very, very, very tiny. So at this point, we could make our decisions, but I want to point out one thing before we get to that point. I want to go back to the matrix. So press second and then go to the X to the negative first or the matrix button. Notice that we have A. That's what we worked with. We never entered anything in for B. So what happens if we go down to B? Press enter. Press enter again. And notice you now get this matrix B is going to be this matrix of 75, 100, 25. 75, 125. So what this, this, this was our expected. What this means is that if we look back at this data of nurses and doctors, if there was no 
if there was no relationship between the nurses and doctors' preference of the new procedure, we would have 75 in each of these. If there if there was no difference between the preferences between the nurses and doctors here, there would be 100 and in the second column. And then over here would be 25 in each of them. So we're basically averaging these out. This is what we would expect to see if everything was just kind of normal. But we see, obviously, that... If we look at our data, nurses definitely prefer the new procedure. Doctors definitely prefer the old procedure. So that's why they are, we're going to be thinking that they are, in the, they are dependent. So we have our conclusion. So since the p-value is equal to 0.00001619, which is obviously less than 0 0.05, which is alpha. Remember, with this 5% significance, this is the same thing as saying that alpha is equal to 0 0.05. So since our p-value is less than alpha, we reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to believe the preference of procedure is dependent on the occupation. So we think there is some dependence taking place here. So there we go. That's the chi-square test of independence. That is when we use the actual chi-square test within our stats options on the calculator.